Hello and welcome to this wire wrapping video for absolute beginners. Um, we are going to make this very simple but very pretty copper ring. Um, and you don't need to know absolutely anything about wire wrapping uh, because I'm going to tell you everything you need uh, to start wire wrapping and especially uh, in particular uh, do this um, make this ring so um, oh before we start um, apologies about um, the fact that the video is a bit wobbly I hope it's not too noticeable um, and I hope it's not a massive issue uh, but the problem is I was filming with uh, my phone mounted on a um, on a stand uh, above my head and it was slightly wobbly so apologies about that so let's jump into it So what we will need is, first of all, copper wire in two sizes. We will need raw, bare, pure copper wire, not coated. And the sizes will be 0 0.3 and 1 millimeter. Then we will need a tool to measure the ring. Actually, we're not going to measure this ring, although this tool, this tool has uh, on the front the measurements of the rings. But this time we will need um, just to make the shape, just to form the shape of the ring using uh, the round shape of the tool. Finally, we will need a series of pliers. Uh, they all have different shapes, different tips, as you can see. Mine are a bit rusty, but they, they do the job anyway. And I will explain uh, in due course um, the exact function of each tip. So we're going to start um, taking um, the wire that we need. You can kind of measure, if you want, how much wire you will need, but it's not really necessary. I never really measure. I just try to guess um, how much I will need um, and try to straighten it a bit. We're going to cut three um, pieces of wire all of the same size as the first one. So we use the first one as a reference, like that. We'll cut the second one, the same size, and the third one. And these three wires will be uh, the main structure of our ring. Next, we are going to cut um, the 0 0.3 millimeter wire, and we will need much more, um, much more of that, as you can see. Um, because that one is going to be wrapped around the three wires and we will need a lot of it. Again, I'm not measuring it. Uh, if we need more um, later, we can definitely cut some more. And you may notice that your one millimeter wires, or pieces of wire, are not really straight. We want them to be as straight as possible. Um, so we will take a flat plier looks like that and we're going to use the um, uh, the part that the, the flat bit yeah that one um, to flatten and make our wire straight like that and 
and then we're taking the 0.3 millimeter wire and before we start uh, coiling it or wrapping it around the one millimeter one we make sure we have a loose end so that we can have a comfortable grip on the wire like that and then we're going to start wrapping it around the one millimeter wire to the back and to the front to the back and to the front until we have three little loops we're going to add the second wire and do exactly as we just did but wrapping the two wires together in three loops to the back and to the front to the back and to the front three times by all means feel free to pause the video if you need time to do this I do it quite quickly I try to slow down I do it quite quick quickly normally but if you need time to find out how to do it and practice just pause the video so we take the third wire we flatten it, flatten it and straighten it a bit and we do exactly the same thing but this time we wrap the top two wires so we don't wrap the 0 the 0 0.3 millimeter wire around the first wire but only around the top two if that makes sense just like that three times to the back and to the front like that and you can't really see the pattern yet but I promise you will in a bit so now we go down and we wrap from starting from the back we wrap only the top uh, sorry the uh, bottom two wires Sometimes you wa might want to use your pliers or your fingers to tighten up um, the wires. Only the bottom two now. To the back and to the front, to the back and to the front, three times. And we finish by wrapping only the bottom wire. So you should have by this point this little V shape. And you can carry on making this V shape. It's a backwards one actually. It's an upside down V shape. But just wrapping the first one, the bottom two, and then the top two wires, and then again the bottom two, and the first one. And this will create um, a very nice pattern that will look very pretty and neat when, uh, when the ring is finished. So I'm going to carry on now until the um, almost the end of the ring, but not really the end, just just until there, up, up till there, yes. Um, I'm going to carry on and then I'll see you in a bit. So I've come to a point where I don't need that little end at the beginning of the ring anymore and also um, I'm running out of wire of 0 0.3 wire and I definitely need more to carry on wrapping so the first thing I do is take my cutting pliers and use them to cut the mm, two little ends
and then I'm using um these wire these pliers sorry or either these ones I don't know what they're called um to basically make sure that the little ends are not sticking out so they don't sting anyone and they don't sting you when you wear the ring just pressing them against the one millimeter wire so they don't stick out like that and now I can take more wire more, more 0 0.3 wire which won't need that much now because the ring is almost um, finished I need a little bit cut it and then replace it wherever we need it in this case I need it between the, the first and the second wires the two bottom ones and then I just carry on And I want to carry on up until that point I indicated. And if I realise I've gone uh, too further away <laughs> and I weaved too much, I can just unweave it like that. And cut both ends of the 0 0.3 millimeter wire always make sure that you press those little ends of the thin wire against the one millimeter wire because otherwise the ring will be very uncomfortable to wear because the wire will sting you. Now that we have two, the two ends of the ring even and equal in size, we can start curling them with um, this uh, plier with a round tip. So we take the end of one of the wires with our plier and we start curling obviously you can curl it as you like um, it's about your taste, it's about what you like. Um, so you can curl it as much and in the shape that you prefer. And we do this with all the three wires, both sides.
these pretty little curled ends will in fact be um, the front of our ring, the visible bit. And there you go, we have the finished structure. Now we only need to make it look like a ring. And to do that, we'll use the ring measuring tool. I'm going to do it, uh, the, the ring is going to be adjustable anyway, but I'm going to do it a size 7 ish because that's probably the size of my finger anyway. And we just basically curl it around the tool. like that. Normally the back of the tool is more round than the front. And then we twist it so that it looks exactly the way we want it. And that's it. Oh, little adjustment. That's it. We have the finished ring, which looks very pretty, in my opinion. Normally, I um, oxidise or antique my copper creation, but I'm not going to do it with this. Um, so it's done. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Thank you very much. Bye.